On the 4th of August 1942, SS Richmond Castle, a refrigerated cargo ship, was sailing from Montevideo with a cargo of frozen meat when she was struck by two torpedoes from U-176. She sank in seven minutes. 19-year-old John Derrick Cutcliffe was aboard the Richmond Castle. He was one of the survivors who spent nine days in very testing conditions, including a full Atlantic gale in lifeboat number two, a small, ill-equipped open boat. I'd gone down to my cabin for a smoker and there was this tremendous crunch and, and shaking and the, I grabbed my life jacket and I went down aft, or tried to get down aft. And by then the ship was heeling over very severely to starboard and they'd given the order to, to abandon ship. I went down and walked down the ship's side and then ran down and jumped into the sea and swam out to the boat. I came across the, to the outside of the, of the number one boat, which was the captain's boat, and I got pulled into that. And uh, shortly after that, the submarine surfaced and came right up alongside us. And we were all a little bit apprehensive, as you can imagine. But in fact, they were very good they gave us the course and distance and nearest land, and they, they then wished us the best of luck, and off they went. We moved around and swam around, picking up bits and pieces, oars, anything that we thought would be useful. One of the most useful things we collected was the canvas cover for the potato locker from the boat deck. And in fact, that was of tremendous importance later on, because we were able to shelter underneath that at night and keep a, a bit out of wind and the cold because the thing that killed people under circumstances like that was exposure. And the, the thing that you had to do was to keep out of the wind. In our boat, we had a marvelous chap called Angus Murray, who uh, came from Stornoway. And he sewed together some blankets, and we lashed together various odd bits of wood that we managed to salvage from the wreckage. And we made a square sail, which we got up onto a, a, an oar as a mast. And with that square blanket, we sailed 450 miles, which we thought wasn't too bad. <laughs> I think it's almost certain that another day, then we would have started losing um, some of our chaps. One well, or two of them were going mad. We had very little water, because the only water we got was a couple of small canisters that we managed to break out for a, a raft, and there were 18 of us in the boat. One of the things that we decided to do was when we got to Ireland, we, we decided that we would sell the boat, and with the proceeds, we'd go to the nearest hotel and book in and fill the bath with Guinness and get in and drink in. And I still can see that bath and I have a Guinness every day. And we were in this state when one of the chaps said, there's something over there. And sure enough, it was the HMS Snowflake. She was in company with another flower glass corvette and they'd been detached from a con convoy escort to go and look for the boats of another ship that had been torpedoed. They weren't looking for us, and they just came across us by chance. They took us all on board, and they were absolutely wonderful. Tremendous kindness. John Cutcliffe continued to serve in the Merchant Navy with the Union Castle Line until 1956. He died on the 1st of April 2016, aged 95. In 1990, the sinking of the Richmond Castle was the subject of an episode of Scotland's War and was filmed at Angus Murray's home in Lewis. Please help to rescue and preserve more memories of the Second World War. Visit www.war-experience.org.